The Pulse School on realairculture.com is brought to you by Saskatchewan Pulse Growers, DuPont Vertison Fungicide, and Nodulator XL. Uh, actually, we uh, we started breeding faba beans here about eight or nine years ago, and we we did release some that are suitable for the Egyptian market a couple of years ago. Those are in seed production now under contracts. Uh, when it comes to more wide uh, release, we've just last uh, in 2012 released the first breeder seed of a smaller seeded uh, white flowered type, what the people call zero tannin type, and so that's that's going to be more. <clears throat> widely grown. It was released to uh, a dozen or so Saskatchewan seed growers in the spring of 2012. And uh, so that'll be the beginning of a longer stream of those because I think we're seeing improvements. Uh, fab <coughs> Faba bean needs a, a little bit of market development in terms of, uh, we think it has a real fit in the protein extraction business in the next uh, several years as the, there's more and more indications that the world's going to be a little tight for protein since we're, uh, animals eat it and we eat it and you know we're going to be needing vegetable protein sources in, in a larger way so we think the timing is actually pretty good. As far as the crop goes uh, I would say this year based on all our data coming in from our own plots with the different pulse crops, faba beans probably the highest yielding one by a significant margin this year just because it can tolerate the kind of summer we had Heat doesn't seem to be that big an issue, uh, uh, and with the continuous rainfall we had up until August, uh, the crop really thrived. So we've got fairly substantial yields, so that looks very positive. So where, where's a good fit? <clears throat> well, it, this, if you think of it this way, in all the areas where peas had struggled due to high moisture this year, that's where you could be growing fava beans. So that's actually a fair chunk of the prairies right now, but uh, that's, that's kind of where faba bean will thrive, is in uh, the areas where it's cool and moist, uh, and obviously warm and moist is okay as well, because we're seeing good results under irrigation. But it's a moisture-loving crop, great fixation, it stands up, and uh, the question will be how far can we uh, accelerate the marketing of this crop into the protein business in the next few years. Is that the biggest hurdle you'd say right now is marketing? <clears throat> uh, I don't know if it's a hurdle because uh, we don't know how big that market's going to be but I mean it's it's something to consider. I think we can we, we really need to get focused on that and I think there's companies willing to do that. I mean, agriculture is uh, obviously changing all the time and, and uh, refitting the faba bean into the system is you know we're, we're good part of the way now we get commercial interest from companies that are now thinking about larger scale protein extraction thing is that it's the only pulse we have with 30 percent protein all the other ones have about 23 so it's kind of a natural fit just need to get some of the agronomics under control and, and definitely stay focused on marketing what do we, what do we use probably well, you know, if you look at, uh, I mean, the Roman army used to eat it, for one thing. <laughs> but uh, faba beans can, are a pretty good source of uh, protein for animal feed. Um, pretty good crop for human consumption. There's some people that are restricted from consuming it, and that's kind of well known as well. We are working on removing the uh, anti-nutritional compound that affects some people. We're well on our way uh, to doing that. Um, Faba beans get used in the Middle East in a, in a breakfast preparation, much like you would use, uh, let's say, uh, the way Mexicans eat beans, people in the Middle East eat faba beans. They kind of make a paste out of it and use, you know, eat it with bread and breakfast and eggs and all that sort of stuff. It's pretty, pretty tasty. Um, so it's a, an energy source and a protein source like all the other pulses. I think it's got a little bit more protein. 